Hey up everyone, how's it going and welcome back to another video and it's been a hot while since I've actually done any sort of PC build, I've mainly been doing my well, mainly graphics cards recently but yeah this is a full on fully fledged PC build with benchmarks. Just in the edit of the video I was unable to actually benchmark the system as a whole because I actually sold the system pretty quickly but I do have benchmarks of the GTX 760. The i5-4460 won't really hold back the 760, but expect to shave off a few frames here and there, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And it's a £200 budget build, designed for more people that want to get into PC gaming but don't have a lot to spend, and people who just want to play lower end games like eSports games and some older AAA games as well. And I believe in the current GPU market, this PC makes quite a bit of sense because people can actually go out and buy these parts because they um, tend to be a bit older parts and lower cost. Even the low end parts have actually gone up quite a bit in price but they're still affordable by most people. And that's what I think is great about a £200 budget build. Like, not many people would be shopping at this price point but it is a price point you can actually have a playable PC out of. Throughout the video, I'll mention each component that I picked and why I used it. So I've gave sort of a reasoning behind it and why I put it into the build. So without any more talking, let's get into the build. Starting off with the GPU for this build and I chose the GTX 760 2GB model, more specifically the Winforce 3X from Gigabyte. And I covered it in greater detail in my previous video where I benchmarked it. However, cutting it short, it can still play most AAA games if you lower the resolution to 720p and it still works absolutely fine for esports titles like Counter Strike and Fortnite. With the platform, I went Intel 4th Gen with an i5-4460, 8GB of 1600MHz DDR3 and an MSI H81 Micro ATX motherboard. The Haswell i5 consists of 4 cores and 4 threads and it also comes with a base clock speed of 3.2GHz and it will boost up to 3.4GHz and it comes along with 6MB of L3 cache. I picked up the CPU, the motherboard and the RAM as a part of a bundle for £60 and for the price I paid I think it's quite a good deal, especially as Intel 4th Gen isn't actually too bad, it's getting on a bit, it's still DDR3 but it's not too bad at all. For storage I went with a good old SSD boot drive and a 1TB hard drive combo. This is perfect for having a snappy and responsive operating system while having a lot of space for your games. The SSD I picked up for this build was the Kingston A400 240GB SSD. It's a good budget SATA SSD which I've actually used in my personal build before and I've paired this with the good old Western Digital Blue 7200 RPM 1TB hard drive. It's reliable, it's cheap and it offers a healthy amount of storage for quite a few games. The PSU power in this build is the Aero Bronze 550 watt from Aerocall. It's an 80 plus bronze rated PSU and granted it's not the best PSU on the market to ever exist but I've used them in multiple builds and they've been great. And finally all this build will be fitted into the Gamax Micro ATX case. I can't quite recall the model but it's a decent budget case for lower end systems which don't output too much heat and it also comes with a rear mounted 120mm blue fan which is a bonus. Earlier in the video I mentioned that this PC couldn't be benchmarked because I've already sold it. However I'll go over the benchmarks from the GTX 760 video which I've done previously that was tested in my personal PC which has a Ryzen 9 3950X. So do expect slightly lower performance numbers from this build. I'll put a graph on screen now and as you can see it performs pretty well the 760, it's not too bad, especially in esports games like your Fortnite and F1 2020 it also did pretty decently in, and Rocket League, so you'll be fine playing games like that on this.
To end off today's video, this PC is perfect for budget oriented gamers looking to get their foot in the door for PC gaming. It's not exactly the cheapest hobby, especially at the minute, and this PC would be perfect for people who are looking to play like your typical games like Fortnite, Valorant, all the AAA games. This PC runs just fine. First thing I'd upgrade with this PC, and the first thing I'd recommend you to upgrade if you're in a similar sort of situation, is the memory. I'd recommend upgrading it from 8GB to 16GB and another big reason as to why it is because it's only in single channel at the minute which isn't the best you might only saturate in one of the memory channels which comes with this processor so if you up that to another 8 gigabytes it will be a lot better it will help with them frame times it'll help with a bit of stuttering and it'll probably bump up your average fps as well however in this specific case i'm not going to do that because i'm going to sell this pc and i want to give the future buyer an opportunity to upgrade to 16 gigs in the future so they don't have to swap out any memory modules or anything like that so if you like this video like it and stay subscribed for future content and i'll catch you in the next one